Hello friends, so today we're going to be talking about a very important topic. This is mod management in uninstallation. Um, if you are here for load order help, I'm going to put a video up in the corner. I'll also put it in the description down below. already made that video. Um, but we are talking about this because it's an extremely important topic. If you ever talk to someone that has been playing Bethesda games for a substantial amount of time and they've been modding them for a substantial amount of time, the one thing they will tell you is you cannot be uninstalling mods mid-game. Why is this? It's because the mod's writing references to your save file uh, and those references will break and it will cause problems within your game, potentially breaking it. Um, so let's give you a real example. Let's say you download a bunch of overhauls for New Atlantis uh, to make it feel like a more realistic uh, city and um, you play with it for about a week and you decide, you know what, it looks really cool and everything, but it's just causing me too much performance issues. It's just too much for my machine to handle. You go ahead, you uninstall it, you load back in to find that New Atlantis is just a giant hole in the ground of Jemison now. Uh, what happened there was the overhaul mods wrote a bunch of references to textures within the mod itself. And when you deleted that mod, uh, you go to load up Jemison and your save file tells it, hey, go pull these textures because we're going to place them here, here, and here, and it can't find them. So there's just a giant hole where Jemison used to be. Uh, that's why you cannot be uninstalling mods just willy-nilly. Um, the other problem is a little bit more of a sneaky problem, and it just comes down to save file bloat. Basically, you just have these null references within your save file uh, building up over time. Um, and like you might be able to get away with uninstalling like one or two mods uh, inappropriately and not see a problem, but it'll build up and you'll get more and more and more and more references building up until you start seeing like infinite load screens or crash to desktop all the time. Um, and that's because you have a save file that's filled with a bunch of null references and your machine needs to process that. Uh, so there's two ways to basically handle uninstallation. The first way is reverting back saves. And this is why I, in particular, I throw down a hard save before I install a mod. And I always plan on bailing back to that hard save if I have any problems. Um, and that's great if you can uh, have problems pop up within like the first couple hours of gameplay but what the heck do you do if like the problems start popping up like two weeks after installing the mod and that gets us to uh the second way to do it and that is a unity jump so the unity itself um is a dev tool wrapped in space wizards robes that's what it is. It basically just resets your save file. So it'll scrub all those null references along with all your items and outposts and chips. Um, so it fixes those modding mistakes you made uh, at the cost of, you know, the things you had in the prior universe. Uh, they cleverly wrapped it up in lore and story. I'll do a video on this later on this week to make up for kind of bursting your bubble on like this cool story element within Starfield. Um, but it's just a giant dev tool to reset your game, essentially. Uh, they just were very clever with how they concealed it behind storyline elements. And this allows us to do things that we couldn't do in past Bethesda titles, like uninstall mods mid-save and continue playing. Couldn't do that in past Bethesda titles without running into issues. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to actually do this process. So uh, basically one of the first things you should do in this process is set a hard save and that's the first thing I'm going to do here. Um, also what I would say a good practice is if you are modding your game anytime you jump into a new universe a good practice would be to the first thing you do is go gather up all the artifacts before you start installing mods. Um, <laughs> you're going to want to do this just in case you make a boo-boo 
and uh, kind of screw things up and you need to bail on the universe. Um, so <laughs> just, just trust me, just do it because one of these days you're going to make, make a mistake uh, where you install a broken mod and then uh, you uninstall it and then break your game even further. Um, but, you know, after you've created your hard save, we're basically just going to head to the Unity. And we're using a hard save because most players don't use hard saves in actual gameplay. So we want this to stick out like a sore thumb for us if we need to come back to this point. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and jump to the Unity itself. We're going to create a couple saves in the Unity, being a little bit redundant, but you'd rather be redundant than sorry. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead, jump to the Unity itself. You know, you breeze through the dialogue. Uh, what I will say is when you're anytime you're in the Unity, it is a good practice to do uh, a purge on your load order because this is a great opportunity it's going to reset your save file i personally i like to go through my load order when i'm in the unity and get rid of things that i'm no longer using i will also add mods to my load order that i plan on using in the next unity uh, so this could be like storylines that i've sat on the uh sidelines for a while and maybe i want to revisit it in the next uh unity like maybe i want to do uh, a pirate themed unity and i might want to install a bunch of pirate themed clothes and quests etc um that's here's where i would do it so once we get to the unity itself we're like we get through all the dialogue this is where we're going to want to drop our saves uh so i'm going to drop a quick save and this is going to show up like a sore thumb in your uh, saves because it's going to say Unity next to it. It'll definitely stick out. Um, and then we are going to, at this point, go ahead and exit. This is going to create an exit save as well. Um, and then after we've exited, we come to the creations menu. Uh, we are at this point, we are going to go to our load order. We're going to find the mods we want to uninstall. For this example, I'm going to use Doomship. We are going to uninstall this from our load order here. And basically, this is a pretty easy process. You're just going to delete it, you know, using the uh, verbiage on the bottom to navigate whatever controls it is, whether you're on PC, PC or Xbox. The controls are listed at the bottom. So after we've uninstalled it, we're going to hit the window and a window key on Xbox. It's two intersecting boxes. Uh, and then we are going to save our load order because we're going to do something a little bit further here. This is a little bit of due diligence. Uh, you don't need to do it, but I would suggest doing it because um, a lot of problems can be fixed by doing this. So after we've saved our load order, we are going to go ahead and exit and then we are going to go to uh, manage game and add-ons and that's on this xbox you hit the start button on the game and you can get to that menu uh, and then you're going to go down to this reserve space and we're going to clear the reserve space what is this reserve space this is basically a folder that contains all your mods uh, so why are we doing this um, sometimes ini files or little files from the mod can get stuck in here. Um, like you'll hit the delete button, but it won't fully delete. There'll be like little files or vestiges of the mod still left behind. And this can happen naturally as you're, you know, downloading updates and etc. Um, so if you've ever had like weirdness with a mod just spring up out of nowhere or out of just, you just updated it and it's acting weird all of a sudden, this is a good diagnostic step to do is clear your reserve space and then just restore your load order from Bethesda net. Um, because a lot of times it can be due to just like INI files getting stuck in there and it's just causing weirdness when your load order is being loaded in. Um, so good time to do it while we're in the unity. You know, we have the car up on the rack. We might as well get to work and do the maintenance that needs to be done. So uh, that's why I'm suggesting that here. 
I would say it's probably a pretty good practice. But, you know, we're going to come back to the, the load order menu. And here we're going to select um, restore load order from Bethesda.net. And what is this going to do? This is going to go ahead and proceed to download all our uh, mods. Um, I will tell you, this time will vary. If you have an extremely extensive load order, you might want to walk away, go get a drink, etc. If you have a relatively small load order, it's probably going to take a few seconds and that's it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time for me and that's mainly because I have a couple larger mods in here. Watchtower is a larger mod. I believe it's almost like I think it's 1.6 gigabytes. So it does take a little bit of time to download. But um, I guess to get back to the topic of purging your load order every Unity, um, this I think is a good practice that people should be doing. And I don't think a lot of people are doing it. Uh, and why is this a good practice? And this is mainly just to keep your load order small because, you know, at the end of the day, if you have things that are unnecessary in your load order, that's more stuff that needs to be processed by your Xbox or your computer that doesn't need to be there. So you have this opportunity to basically guilt free, remove stuff from your load order. The Unity is going to scrub your save file so things won't break. You might as well take it. Uh, go ahead and assess that load order, take out the things you are not using, you don't plan on using, maybe you've grown bored of it, um, and take those things out. And this is going to keep your load orders relatively small over time, because I know a lot of people are kind of like, I see people with like 600 plus load orders, and I'm like, holy cow, no way are you using all of that. Um, and, and this is just unnecessary things that your computer or your Xbox has to process. And at the end of the day, this, like if, if your Xbox is processing like all these unnecessary mods uh, and you're suffering from performance issues, you might as well get rid of them. Um, so I think it's a very good practice. I think people should be doing that. And they'll probably have a lot less conflicts, a lot less issues when they're playing with mods. If people do this as like just a best practice, like, okay, I'm at the Unity, let's go ahead, let's assess my load order and remove the things I'm not using and shrink this down to a more manageable size. Uh, basically, the only musts I have in my load order are things that like buffer out the procedural generation or their gameplay overhauls. Um, like storyline elements or thematic things like clothes or ship parts. Uh, those are all going to vary based off of, you know, what I feel the next flavor of the universe is going to be. And at the end of the day, uh, th that's something also to consider. This is a game about uh, a multiverse. You can basically give each universe its own theme, its own twist by choosing what mods you pick. So from like a lot of different standpoints, you reassessing your load order every unity is probably a good thing. Uh, you can make your game fresh again, etc., and have, um, you know, that multiverse experience where things are different every single universe that you go through and also keep your load orders manageable and safe that way, when you see that new mod drop and you're trying to jam it into your 600 plus load order and see where the heck's it going to work at, or if it's even compatible with your load order, no, that's going to be a lot easier. It's going to be like 50 mods. You probably just pop it right in and not have a problem. Um, and, and this is why I think it's best practice because I think you're going to have a lot easier time with mods if you're reassessing your load order every time you go through the Unity. You get a fresh start. First thing I would say you do is gather up the artifacts in case you need to bail, and then you can kind of start adding mods to the more mods to the mix as you play. Maybe something drops and it looks really cool. You can install it. Your mod load order is relatively manageable. It's easy to figure out where it goes in that load order. Uh, and you're probably not going to have as many conflicts or other issues because it's, it's a smaller load order. So the bigger the load order is, 
uh, the more unwieldy it becomes. But after we get everything loaded in, what I'd like to say is Bethesda kind of moves around stuff in your load, or you might want to make sure it's correct before you load in, 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 in the proper order. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to load in, and we're going to walk through the Unity, and then the Unity is going to scrub our save file, basically deleting all the objects, all the references, except for a couple key elements about your character, and that's it. So any uh, evidence of that mod you just deleted will be gone, um, and it will not impact your game uh, unless they've like you're dealing with some mod that has like persistence across universes. I try to, uh, in particular, I try to avoid those. For the most part, I do have some mods that have a little bit of persistence in them, uh, but they're kind of from trusted sources. For the most part, I would say, like, try to stay away from those. I know they can be tempting, like, oh, I can bring my ship through the Unity. Uh, that means your ship cannot be, like, scrubbed out of your save file if it bugs out. Um, so... Those are things that I, I would really consider. But like as we go through here, you're going to answer some questions. Read these carefully uh, before answering them. It's going to be like, yes, go with the current load order, not the save. And then it's going to be like, are you sure? Because there's objects present in your save file that reference stuff in the mod. And that's what I was talking about earlier and explaining earlier. You're going to answer yes because we're just going to load into the unity and walk through the unity we're not loading into jemison with our missing mods and experiencing a broken game we're just loading into this localized cell that basically does not have anything um if you have mods that are modifying the unity god help you don't get mods that modify the unity um that, that's just asking for problems but uh, relatively safe process. You know, we're going to load this up. This is going to take a very long time to load this up, by the way. Uh, anytime you change your load order, it takes a long time to load up. Um, it'll load up. You'll get in. And what you're going to do is you're just going to run straight for the Unity. You just need to get out of here. Um, but good practice would be to just double check your load order right before you go through the unity make sure you deleted the mod etc your load order is correct run through the unity and we're done who will you be in this one what choices will you make 